now we're in our moonshot back test um, it's pretty easy once you've gotten to this point once you've dialed in your research and you've dialed in your strategy code right the umd dot py you'll again this prices the signals is where like 99 percent of your stuff is once you've dialed that in this is set right like now moonshot is going to recognize this and when we run a back test we simply import the back test from moonshot run it i'm actually going to check the tear sheet right when you hear the word tear sheet right that's performance that's the returns and it's going to take half a second right but you're end up getting you're going to end up getting all the performance metrics that you could ever want right um, some you can check on like alpha lens or something else but for moonshot this is usually pretty high listed right so compound annual growth return is 3.1 percent i'm already not that interested in this guy right i'm gonna make it three percent a year max drawdown is eight percent that's not that bad but really it's my sharp ratio right my right it's a my my risk to return metric um you have you know, all these other the skews and the kurtoses and all this stuff but the nice thing is moonshot just graphs all this right you can see commissions are pretty static here's your gross returns you can actually also put in a benchmark for that time period let's do that in the benchmark you can see that as i start typing it it knows i intuitively know this because i've used it quite a bit if i put in benchmark I can just type in like a SID or something that I naturally like. Um, usually it's like the SPY or maybe it's one of the stocks in the universe that you're using. So for example, I'm gonna use Apple. I come back into the back test and I rerun them. I'm going to have a slightly different graph the second time. You wouldn't expect any of the performance metrics. The strategy itself didn't change. But notice when I come into the cumulative returns versus the benchmark, the benchmark murdered this algorithm, right? So I spent that time doing some research and just having bought Apple during this period of time would have smoked my strategy, right? Maybe my strategy works at different times, but this is probably a strategy I'm like, ah, I'm not that jazzed about. You also got to keep in mind, we only have six or seven positions on a reduced data set, but really... This strategy might be good in different contexts, right? Some tweaking here and there. But this is usually the part where I'm like, like if I put a lot of time and research into something and I get smoked by the benchmark, there's no like tweaking I'm going to get out of there at that point where I'm like, yeah, if I do one or two things, it's, it's probably I chalk it up as, you know, I had a hypothesis, the scientific method prevailed. I can't reject in favor of the benchmark. I'm done with this strategy. I move on to the next one. That's the name of this game that I think a lot of people might not want to hear, might not want to understand, right? Like you put in research and then sometimes it doesn't come to fruition. That's the hardest part of this game is going, dang it, next, dang it, next. Because when you get it, you get a huge like rush, right? When things start to work out in real life. And you have all these other graphs that you can go through and check out the, the exposure and all that fun stuff. Piece we're gonna get into is how do we adjust these guys? Maybe there were a couple tweaks, right? Let's, let's keep in our mind, like maybe we're really close to the benchmark and there's a couple of parameters that we'd like to scan just to see if there's some optimality six of this guy. And then we'll talk about what it means, what we do, and then we'll be done with this intro. And then we can start getting into other algorithms, other ideas, um, a billion different things that we can get into, but this will be the conclusion of the introduction. Please subscribe, click buttons, whatever everyone else on YouTube tells you to do. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.